What up guys, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series. And in this video I'm going to show you guys a, a couple of the new Earthquake Hog and Earthquake Go Lava attacks, but I'm also at the end of it going to show you some amazing new Town Hall 10 designs for you to take and use in your own wars. And the reason for that is because we've just lost. So uh, our nine month win streak was brought to a crashing halt by a, by a Chinese clan. Um, these are the culprits. I think their name translates to King of Hearts. And, uh, and they fought a great war. So if we have a quick look through the war log, there'll be some names here that, that those of you in the, the war community will be familiar with. Um, I think I think the streak got up to about 83 or 84 maybe. As I say, it was nine months long. And uh, this is what ended it. So great war to them. Um, they they caught us a little bit off guard, I think. Uh, we we ended up having a few attacks left just because we, we weren't quite sure what to do with these bases. We tried, but couldn't get through them. So uh, it's a great war. Um, now, if we have a look through, I'm going to show you a few attacks. The first one is by a guy called Dylan, who, uh, who's a really good attacker. He actually has a Clash of Clans YouTube of his own called Dylan COC. So if you like these kind of wars, then go check it out. It's really, really good. Dylan hit two bases this war as a first attacker on the bases, and he three-starred both of them. So this was one of his attacks. And if we have a quick look at the attack, it's going to be a, an earthquake hog attack. So he realises in his analysis that the double giant bombs are going to be in these sections. So he knows if he opens up the walls around the town hall, that's going to give him access to the whole core, and from then, the hog deployment should be pretty simple. So, uh, so that's what he goes with. So you can see the army composition. We've got some Valks in there, which are always good to see. Uh, he's going to have two golems, one in the CC and one in his own army. He's got his level 30 heroes, which obviously they're important. And um, and he's got the four earthquake spells. So in goes the wall breakers to open up the um, the bottom compartment. He uses a wide funnel here, um, but he only loses a couple of wizards doing it. So so that's fine. Out comes the enemy CC. Now, um, if you're doing a first attack on a base, I always think it's a good idea to take a poison because you don't know what's going to be in the CC. So he does that here. Obviously, if you have the luxury of watching replays and seeing what comes out of the clan castle, then you can tailor that. But that's that's part of the reason why doing the, the fresh attacks are, are more, more tricky. But he does a great job with it. So he's already got one of the um, two of the giant bombs out of the way. The king now uses ability... The enemy king goes down, and the other two giant bombs are in that section right by the king. So there goes the first one, and now in come the hogs. So you'll notice he's going to do a surgical deployment right the way around the base, basically just overwhelming the defences. But with no giant bombs to worry about, he's um, he's pretty much home free. He pops on the queen ability just there, just because it's going to speed up the rest of the raid. And... Uh, I think I'm right in saying he barely loses a hog, maybe two or three hogs in the entire raid. So uh, a fantastic job by Dylan. Really, really good work. We'll just speed through the cleanup. So yeah, that's um, that's Dylan attacking, and that is the EQ Go Hog attack. So the other raid we're going to watch from the Town Nines was um, was one of mine. Uh, I, ironically, actually had quite a good war considering it was my first war back in, um, in about a month, probably. I came back and I hit two two bases uh, with first attacks and managed to, managed to get both of them. So um, if we have a quick look at the analysis, this guy's made a bit of a mistake here. If you see this spot right here, you can drop an earthquake right there and open up all of this. So what that's going to do is give us access to one air defence right there, and one air defense right there. And of course, if you take out two air defenses with your kill squad, then the lava loon part of the raid is going to go pretty smoothly. So that's what I decided to do. So uh, we'll watch the earthquakes go down first. They open up the core. And then he had that mortar up the top, which um, caused a bit of an issue. So uh, I had to do a slightly wider funnel than I otherwise would do. So we go right the way around the top. Chap's got his Chinese flag right at the top of his base, proudly representing. 
So these wizards end up actually going down and killing um, killing an archer tower this side, and then over this side they kill a cannon, which is good. Again, I didn't know what was going to come out of the CC. It turned out to be a hound, which was a bit annoying. I'd got the poison, so I just ended up using the poison on the um, on the pups. If you know a hound is going to come out, I'd recommend usually taking a, a haste instead of a poison spell, just because you don't really need it for a hound. So uh, the king does his work. He kills the enemy queen and his uh, his counterpart. And now I've got the rage down in the core for the wizards. So over here we're taking out that one air defense and the second it goes down, I'm ready with the hounds. So in go the two hounds. The reason I started over at 9 o'clock on this base is because the far air defense, I didn't want it to, to be firing any of my balloons. So while the hounds go in, they're protecting the balloons. And I had a fair idea that if I left that air defense up there alone long enough, my queen would eventually rotate round and she'd kill it herself. And that's what happened. Now, um, at this point, those Tesla pop up and banks of Teslas scare me. So uh, that was a little bit of an issue. But as it turns out, I've got a hound spare. So there goes the queen. She goes over there, pop on her ability. And then the hound tracks all the way across. And that's pretty much it. Queen goes down right at the end, but uh, that's a three star. And that took two and a half, maybe two minutes, 20 seconds, something like that. So yeah, um, not too bad. As I say, though, it's a, it's a bit like scoring a goal when you uh, when you have a defeat. Sort of scant consolation, really. I should say, um, that attack, the Ikigo Lava, was, um, was originated in a clan called Clash Heads by a guy called Maxors. So... Um, so props to him because uh, because that version of the EQ attack is is a good one. I don't know who came up with the EQ uh, hog attack. That that's been around for a bit longer. But yeah, credit where credit's due. Now this is the last attack I'm going to show you, and this is a Town Hall 10 attack by uh, a guy called Darkness. We're going to go through it fairly quickly, but I wanted to show you this because this is a crazy attack. He does this with a level 35 king and a level 37 queen, and that might sound like it's a lot, but it's against a base with level 40 heroes and a completely maxed out defensive base. It's very, very rare that you see someone even attempt a 3-star on one of these bases without having 40-40 heroes, and to pull it off is really, really impressive. So um, it's a great work by him. So in goes the Queen. Her objective here is to get to the air defence, which, uh, which is on her side. So it gives her a few healers to keep her alive, and she gets cracking. And over on the far side, opens up that wall as well, so that she can go in. On the far side, he's going to drop his king down, and the king is going to get busy. So he, um, the objective here is just basically to wipe out one side of the base, so the air only has to take out three of the four. He, he rages the healers there. The reason for that is because healers heal faster under a rage. So rather than using his archer queen's cloak, he uses a rage instead to keep the cloak for later, which is, um, which is great. Now we're going to slow down a little bit just here because the hounds are just about to go in. So in go the first two hounds. And you'll notice he's got three haste, one rage, and two freeze spells. So the hastes go down pretty quickly to help the balloons get in contact with, uh, with the defences. There they go. And that freeze is fantastic because it freezes the archer queen right over by that air sweeper. And what's going to happen is the balloons go over, the hounds die, but the rage spell, which is on the queen, allows her pups to take her out. Fantastic. Great, great touch. Like uh, like old school Penta. I'm a fan. And then down goes the second, um, the second uh, Inferno Tower. The queen gets the last air defense, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So a wicked attack by darkness, really, really impressive. Chat went crazy when that happened. We, um, I think everyone thought we were going to win. So, uh, yeah, full storm, I suppose. But a really, really good attack. Well done, mate. And now, as promised, I'm going to show you guys the bases that we couldn't figure out. So um, we had a we had a good few goes at these as well. Um, in the end, we sort of tried to do some some high percentage two stars on some of them. This is the top one. This was their number one base. Uh, as you can see, he's got all of the new walls. They're all completely maxed out. The traps, you can probably figure out what the traps are on this one. There aren't too many um, aren't too many places. He did have uh, at least one set of double jump bombs. I think they were down here. But that's uh, that's the number one base. We'll have a look. I think it's the number three base as well. Yeah, this one. 
prior dip had a go at this and he's a good attacker but he couldn't he couldn't get to the bottom of it. So that's that base. Feel free to pause these. If if you have any questions at all about the bases, please put them below in the comments. I know there's gonna be some people who are ready to crow that Hebrew Hebrew Legends lost. Um that's that's fine. Put that below in the comments as well. Water of a duck's back at this stage. But uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different video. Um, hopefully normal service will be resumed next time I, uh, I upload. But if you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them below in the comments. And until the next time, folks, happy clashing.